Tomorrow marks 79 years since the attack on Pearl Harbor, a day that inspired a generation of young men and women to serve our country. Today, many of the surviving heroes are isolated because of the pandemic. Here in Colorado, some people are working to make sure those veterans get the recognition they deserve. Denver 7's Nicole Brady has one veteran story. On Valentine's Day 1944, a USB-17 Flying Fortress bomber was attacked off the coast of Italy. 22-year-old bombardier Armand Sedgley had the enemy in sight. The tail gunner, the two waist gunners, and the radio operator were all killed. Sedgley, now 99, has told the story countless times. Denver 7 profiled him in 2018. And while he has rarely called himself a hero for his actions that day, others do. The hero of the mission was Lieutenant Armand Sedgley, a 20, well, he was 21, 22 years old at the time, a hero of three previous crashes and 36 missions. John Fine came into Sedgley's life in the mid-90s when Fine, a marine biologist, was diving around the wreckage of the B-17. He found a dog tag which inspired him to look for survivors of the crash. He eventually brought Lieutenant Sedgley back to the Mediterranean to be honored in a ceremony. But his work wasn't done. One day he just related how he never got a silver star, how other members of his crew in that same mission received their silver stars. I started an odyssey. Why not? How can he get a silver star? Well, I ran up against a lumbering army bureaucracy. For years, Fine has been unsuccessful, despite help from Senator Cory Gardner and documents from the National Archives proving Sedgley's heroism. Now time is running short. Our commander in chief has to issue that medal and he has to issue it quickly. At 99 years old, it's a miracle that Sedgley has a clear mind, wonderful memory, and a great sense of humor. However, his body is not keeping up. I'm pretty, I stay pretty close to the apartment. The pandemic has confined Sedgley to his Lakewood nursing home. The days of military ceremonies are behind him, but he awaits one final honor. Oh, abs absolutely, it would be uh, an honor and recognition of, of uh, the service. And I think it's something that my family would uh, cherish. But we cannot let this veteran, nor any veteran, not one veteran go and leave us without knowing that our country loves them. Nicole Brady, Denver 7.